guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I organized Miles' closet and as you can see it is really unorganized and really cluttered. This video is actually several months in the making and I started back in January cleaning out his closet and as you can see I don't have a baby bump yet. Um, but anyway, so his closet was really full of a bunch of baby storage stuff and just really unorganized. So day one, my first project was to get rid of all these boxes of clothes. Most of the clothes here were too small for him that I had just thrown in there as he outgrew. And then he also had some boxes of clothes that were too small from when we moved here eight months ago. I just hadn't had a chance to put them in storage yet. So I'm going through all the boxes here and just getting out the clothes that are too small. And then he's got a lot of hand-me-downs that he's still going to grow into. So I'm just getting everything separated out and cleared out. I also went through his dresser and got out all his clothes that were too small for him in there. The second day I went through and I took out all of the baby stuff that had been in storage in his closet that he's obviously outgrown, like his crib pieces, his pack and play, baby toys, all that kind of stuff, and I just moved it over into the baby's closet in the baby's room. Once I got everything cleared out and taken care of, I was left with a very empty, very clean closet and I was going to leave it just at that, but then I came up with a brilliant idea. So my brilliant idea was to utilize his closet space more since it is completely empty and basically useless except for his laundry basket and a couple of hanging clothes and some storage things. So I like to follow Catherine from Do It On A Dime. She has a wonderful, inspiring YouTube channel. She does a lot of organization things, especially from the Dollar Tree, and watching her kids' organization um, for their, her kids' closet has really inspired me to kind of follow in the same and do that for Miles. Now, since we have a baby on the way, I figured, you know what, if I move all of his clothes into his closet, then that way we can utilize the dresser, dresser into the baby's room and then not have to worry about buying another dresser. That way he'll have more room um, in his room for toys and for playing and stuff, and we'll be able to utilize the empty closet. So let me show you what I have here, and my husband built it. I kind of designed it, and my husband helped me tweak it, and my husband built it, and I'll explain how we did that um, in just a minute, but let me show you here what we have. So this storage system only costed us about $50 in lumber from Home Depot and based on my measurements I um, was able to buy three of these boards from Home Depot and cut them into shelves and um, my husband painted it and put it all together and I am very happy with how it turned out. I still need to organize it, which I'll show you the tour after I get it done, but I just wanted to show you it before. Now I took all of my measurements based on Dollar Tree bins. So what I wanted is I wanted two bins sitting next to each other. And so I just measured it out. And then on my plans here, I just kind of drew it all out with all the measurements and everything. And the only thing that did not turn out how I had planned was this shelf here. I had planned for this to be 36 inches, but because of um, the measurements of you know everything here, this turned out to be 34 inches because the boards at Home Depot only were 97 inches. So we were two inches short, and obviously I didn't want to buy a whole nother board for that. So I had planned on putting three baskets side by side here, but because it's 34 inches, I'll only be able to get two, which is gonna be fine still and work perfectly. These were unfinished, um, kind of rounded edge. I think they're three quarters of an inch by 97 inches and uh, long. And then the depth wise, I think is about 15 inches. They had some shorter ones, which is probably what this is here. But I, again, took my measurements off the baskets and this is what I came up with. And then I knew I wanted um, his laundry basket to be under there. I could have added another shelf but I wanted his laundry basket to be there. The only thing I have not done, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it, is to put another one of these rods here so we can hang stuff. But as you can see, he obviously doesn't have very many hanging clothes, so we don't really need that space. But I like how, um, you know, if he were to get older and have taller clothes or we can t store taller things here, we have that option. But then we also have this nice shelf here. These boards were $15 each, so we got three of them. And then my husband also got, it's not a two by four, but it's the next smaller size from that, um, just to hold the shelf here. And I think that's all 
we bought. Um, so we really did not spend very much money. Like I said, it was around $50, and which is much cheaper than a dresser. And then I still need to go buy a few more of these Dollar Tree bins because um, I wasn't sure like how many shelves I would need. Um, so I just need to go back and get some more of those. through this big box that has been in his closet of clothes that are um, too big for him and this stuff here is stuff I know he's not gonna wear so I'm just gonna donate that to Goodwill and then what I did here is I have these three bins of course from the Dollar Tree and I have them broken down into different sizes and I took inventory of what um, we have of each um, item for each season because I work at Kohl's and I can get a discount on clothes really cheap and before I quit, before the baby comes, I want to make sure that I stock up and have everything for him because now knowing how much I could pay for clothes, I don't want to pay full price or even with a coupon for them because um, I just get such incredible discounts. I just want to stock up through um, size 5T winter um, and then I think we'll be set because once he hits that six um, size 6 out of the toddler section, he'll probably need to try on clothes and he can pick clothes. At the closet I'll organize I'll show you that in a minute but I moved his dresser and he's got more room for his toys and stuff I'm really happy with how this turned out so up here um, on the shelf we just have some storage stuff and then over here are his next seasons of clothes I have his 5t winter clothes 5T summer clothes and then some clothes that I think are size 6. They're way too big for now but I've got all that set up there and um, it's ready to go for when I pull out the next season of clothes. Over here I have his nice pants um, hanging. He thinks they're just for church and will not wear them any other place. Um, and then his nicer shirts and then some winter shirts. I'm not sure if these are going to be too small next winter but we'll try it and then like his winter coat hanging there. And then over here, he just has his play rug for his um, Hot Wheels cars. A little bookshelf here that I don't have anything on right now. And then this is a box of shoes because um, most of these close up here. And then all of these are hand-me-downs. And so I have um, his shoes in here. And I need a bin or something to put that in, but I just um, am short another bin from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so then over here I have his laundry basket here, and then these are all bins from the Dollar Tree. So in this one here I have his socks and underwear, I have his jammies here, I have his basketball shorts and knit shorts, and that's mostly what he wears, and then all his short sleeve shirts in here. And then this shelf here I have his, like, his denim shorts and, like, khaki shorts and a little bit nicer shorts that we can wear out places. And then this bin is his winter clothes, and I'm not sure what all is going to still fit him. I know his pants are kind of getting a little short. This is 4T winter, but we've got that there just in case we have a little bit of a cold day or something like that, which we do get occasionally, but not so much anymore now that it's, you know, mid-June. And then this shelf here is his extra sheet and just some blankets and stuff. And then I still have an empty shelf up here to do stuff with, which I don't know what I want up there yet. Over here I have his books. He loves his little shelf here because on top of his dresser he had all his books and so I was going to put some of the Dollar Tree bins here and store stuff but it works perfect for his books. And then this here I actually got this idea from Catherine at Do It On A Dime. She uses a laundry basket. This is just an Ikea. Um, it goes to the cube storage system. I may or may not get a different um, bin for that but Basically what it's for, it's, it's for clothes that he's outgrown um, and then that way I don't have to, you know, put them in a box each time he outgrows them. I could just pile them in there and then when the seasons change out, I could just empty that and just store that all so I'm not like constantly putting clothes in storage and stuff like that. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.